Hey guys, this is going to be a tutorial on how to create realistic grass in Arnold Maya using Megascans. So cool. Um, this is going to be also like a basic tutorial on NextGen. I'm not going to really go over it, but I mean, that's how we're going to really instance the grass here. So first thing we need to do is let's create our landscape. So create and polygon primitives plane. Let's frame up on this. Okay. And then now let's show our grid. So let's go ahead and scale this up a little bit. I already figured out something that works, so I'm going to go to do 2500. Okay. And then let's freeze those transformations. So if I freeze, okay. And then I have a little shelf here that will do that faster. And let's delete the history. Let's rename this to ground. And actually, let's go ahead and um, let me back up a couple steps. I should have, um, in the polyplane attributes, we can just go ahead and change this to 50. Or actually, I'm going to go a little bit lower res, 25. Cool. All right. So now we can delete the history. Let's rename this to ground. Okay. So now let's do some sculpting. So let's go to mesh tools, sculpting tools. All right. And then we can go ahead and go sculpt, sculpt settings. So we have our sculpt settings right here. And if we hide the grid, it's going to be a little bit easier. And here's our polygons. So hold B and middle mouse drag to change your brush size. And then now if you, if you're not seeing any effect, then you just need to turn your strength up. So let's go ahead and paint something. Maybe turn down maybe a little bit too much. And then let's just kind of paint just a little bit of variation. Okay, so let's smooth it out a little bit. Cool. So um, let's go ahead and get our project set up because in order to make XGen work properly, because it can be a little buggy, um, and I think that's the first, you know, the first thing you might encounter, um, but it's not that hard. All we have to do is just make sure that follow, you know, some simple steps. So the first thing we need to do is just set our project. So let's go ahead and I'm going to do the project window and let me go ahead and press new. And then let me change this to my grass. And then let's name this grass project. OK, and press accept. So now we just need to save our scene. Are we in the right? We are. So let's go ahead and name this. A one start. Okay. So we should be good to go um, to create our description. So let's go ahead and exit out of this. Save. And yeah, so let's select this, create new description. And basically, the collection is what's going to hold all our descriptions. So let's just name this grass underscore a one. And then we can name this landscape. Cool. So we want to change this to custom geometry archives randomly across the surface and using attributes. So let's go ahead and create this. Cool. So I'm going to go ahead and turn update preview off and just make sure nothing's going on. We can see these little dots, so it looks like everything's cool. Um, and yeah, I guess now we're good to go to bring some assets in here and start preparing. So let's go to Mega Scans. All right. So this is going to be the one that we want to use right here. Um, glass, uh, grass clumps. And let's go to Export. And there's multiple variations, um, but it should just copy over. So 
I showed in my last tutorial how to get this set up, but let's just do it again. Copy. Open up the script editor. Paste. Okay, so now the live link set up. And, you know, wait. Is it freezing up? While we're at it, and we already have the, lands uh, the landscape selected, let's just do the material for the landscape. So, I'm going to go ahead and turn this to surfaces. And there is a grass material in here that I like. I think it's called grass lawn. So let's just do this first. Like this. Export. 8K. And since I have it selected, it should assign straight to this geometry. Now let's go to our hyper shader really quick. Okay, so I think that was going a little bit slow because I had my X Gen window open. That was a little weird. So what we want to do once we so I just sent over a material from Quixel Bridge. It assigned it to this landscape we just created. And all I want to do is just change the coordinates or the tiling. So let's go to the attribute editor. And we want to change this repeat UV to six. Or you can change it to whatever you want. So to change that setting again was a little bit slow, but we're going to keep going. So this should be textured correctly. We're just going to move forward and bring in the assets. So let's go back to 3D. Find those clumps right here. And let's go ahead and bring them in. So let's hide the ground for a second so I can see them. So when they come in, they'll be rotated like this. So just make sure you select them. Go to your channel box. And then rotate it on X, negative 90. And then you're going to want to freeze transformations. So let's turn the ground back on. And let's get our basic lighting and... Actually, I forgot, um, when you import these, two of these variations don't come with materials, so don't forget that. Um, but first, let's just do our lighting really quick. Arnold, lights, and then physical sky. Okay. Attribute editor. Let's go to our dome light. Let's turn this exposure up to two. Okay, let's get rid of this live link. And now we want, what, what we want to do is we want to take this grass clump material, assign it to these two. So select the, the two other variations. Right click assign material to selection. And we want to go to the Arnold settings and turn off opaque because it's a transparent texture. So that should all be good to go. Now let's do a little quick test um, Arnold render view okay so it looks like we got the a basic lighting set up with the settings I had so what we want to do now is take this over select the grass clumps and let's get the outputs and what we want to do is go to the find the translucency and let's go ahead and load a color correct and let's take the out color and put it into the input and then the out color of the color correct to the subsurface color so and so now, if we press play, we can change the exposure to 1, maybe 0.5. Okay, so we got the shaders all set up. 
we can play around with the roughness, but I, I kind of like the way it looks. I know if I do a high res render, it's gonna look good. But let's go ahead and we can we can play with this range if we need to. Set this to like a lower value. Get some more reflection going on. Spot. Cool. All right, I'll do a little quick render to see this. Okay, so we got our main clumps ready. You know, we have three different variations. Now we're going to create our archives for XGen so that XGen can redistribute these all over the landscape. So, okay, let's take. We gotta do one at a time. Um, let's go to the X Gen menu, and let's see. Just check off and everything. Okay, we should be good to go. So let's select the first variation and let's create from selection. Let's create local, and let's press export. Okay, so that took like. 30 seconds. I'm going to go ahead and do that for each one. Okay, so I accidentally messed up and I didn't name the first one. So let's see. You can just go to your folder right here, grass project, and then XGen, archives. Okay, so I'm just going to delete. I, you know, I could delete everything in here and just do it again. You know? Everybody makes mistakes. <laughs> so let's go ahead, try that again. And then let's name this grass O line. Cool. And before I forget, let's go ahead and go to the preview output. And let's change the renderer to Arnold. And we can continue with the other variations. So let's make sure we name them as well. So create from selection, press O2. Okay, and last one, press O3. Okay, so let's just make sure that before we add these archives that this is at a very low density because it could really slow your computer. So let's just try 0 0.005. And now we should just hide these, the original one. And now we can, we can go ahead and add our archives. So let's go ahead and go up one, XGen, archives. Add these and then press yes. All right. So let's see. We're good to go. Now we need to turn the X Gen landscape back on. Ground. There we go. Now all we need to do when we're ready is press the I. Cool, everything went well. Hopefully it doesn't crash. Okay, so something to take note that if uh, for some reason my crashes and stuff like that, um, make sure you set your project again because it'll probably just keep crashing. So. I went to go set project and it wasn't where it was supposed to be. So let's go ahead and on that grass project, set it. Let's go ahead and save scene. And now let's try to add these archives once again. So let's hide the variations. Let's turn the landscape on. And let's go ahead and change the scale to five. And that's going to make it so where we can keep this density a little bit lower, but we're still gonna put it really low just because we don't want any problems. Okay, it's not gonna let me go. Okay. So that looks good. Now let's 
add the the archives. Now this time I'm going to I'm gonna do them one at a time. So just to maybe increase our chances of it not crashing. Okay. And now, there we go. Finally. Okay. So it looks like we're good to go. And we we got our first archive in here at a low density. So now we want to get, and before we bring the other ones in, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys how to uh, add some randomness. So let's do this on the length first. All you need to do is click this little expression window button so let's go to the length select everything here and basically just type in rand and then you want to type in the two numbers that you want so i'm going to put point five and one point three and we'll we can edit this let's accept and if this is on update you should be able to see it so it'll change right there so we can probably make this just a little bit higher. Okay, so that looks like that works. So now another attribute that we can add randomness to is twist. So let's go ahead and do that. And we, so like just to figure out your values, like so say I want a value, I want this to be a value, one, and then I want 152 to be another value. So let's click on here rand and then let's click let's, oh, sorry let's write one and then 153 and then let's press accept and then we're getting all those different attributes let's make sure there's nothing okay fine and so there's these other ones i'm not going to play with that no i'm not going to go back zero and is there anything else that we would like to do let's just go ahead and add our other archives Select those so let's try to just fill this up a little bit more and then keep saying this It's being weird. I'm just going to ignore it. So it looks like everything's good. We could just do a little test render. But I'm going to bump it up to 5. So let's start off by just looking down. And let's open up the Arnold render view. Let's see how long it takes. Let's see. All right, let's see if this works. Cool, it's looking good, it just needs more density. So, I would say, and that's probably because we upped the size, so... I guess we can just up this to 0 0.1. Maybe even 0.5. Cool. So now, I'm gonna do a little quick test render. And let's see how that goes. So cool, it finished rendering, and uh, yeah, I'm pretty happy with how it came out. Um, if you wanted to change some settings, you can come to the, the, the dome light, and then go to physical sky, and you can change these uh, settings to get a different lighting, but I think this came out pretty cool. I want to keep this uh, short and sweet, and um, yeah, guys, more tutorials are coming soon. Like and subscribe, and uh, keep watching. There's going to be more coming. All right, guys, later.